We, we see currently, uh, uh, you know, data management is really picking up in speed. There's a lot of things happening. Where do you see the future of uh, product uh, of data management actually going from that product mindset, you know? <laughs> well, to me, that's the most exciting space we live in. Mm. I think as we were talking before, I always ask this question to everybody that in the world of cloud, you actually yeah. don't own anything. The servers, the storage, the applications, you're renting it. The only thing you own is the data you create in it. That's yours. In this episode of the Data Masterclass podcast, we talk to Amit Walia, the CEO of Informatica, about the future of data management. Great. So, uh, hello, data people, my data friends. Uh, I'm, I have a big honor to have uh, Amit here with me, who is the CEO of Informatica. And I, you know, I'm, I had a really nice conversation with him on the future of, of what Informatica is uh, offering in the data management space going into the cloud. And so... But I, I have a very personal question. How was you had a very unique, you know, sort of path from product executive to a CEO? You know, what shaped you on the way there? Well, first of all, it's great to be here at the Zalando headquarters. It's a great, uh, obviously, a great setup here. And uh, congratulations on your success of building the data culture in the company. Uh, to the question you asked me, look, I think uh, I think it's been a great journey. It's been a great asset because being a product person has allowed me to, first of all, be very close to our customers because building a product is all about solving the pain point of your customers. So that gives you customer empathy. Second one is you're always focused on the future. You're innovating, which means that you're always trying to take the company forward into things that probably it's not natural for people to see. And the third one for me has always been as a product person is inherent curiosity. Curiosity for things that you need to solve, things you have to constantly think. And that's true for running a company. You have to be constantly curious about new problems to solve, big problems to solve. So to me, those are assets that have helped me being a product person and now being a CEO. Great. And I guess, you know, what we, we see currently, uh, uh, you know, data management is really picking up in speed. There's a lot of things happening. Where do you see the future of uh, product uh, for, of data management actually going from that product mindset, you know? <laughs> But to me, that's the most exciting space we live in. I think as we were talking before, I always ask this question to everybody, that in the world of cloud, you actually yeah. don't own anything. The servers, the storage, the applications, you're renting it. The only thing you own is the data you create in it. That's yours. And data by itself has no meaning. You have to manage it. And we right. believe that we help bring it to life. So by managing it, you can understand, you know what, what your customers want. How do you create long-standing relationships? What do your suppliers do? How do you govern your data? How do you do many things that are inherently important to running a business? So to me, data management is the most important thing that makes a data-driven company, which, by the way, you guys have done an amazing job of. And I think any company who does not think like that is not going to survive or right. transform or be a successful big company of the future. And um, I don't know if, if the data mesh paradigm is actually also a thing now in the US. In Europe, it's quite a big thing now in the data management space. Is that, is that something you think is relevant for, for most companies? Is that something you, you heard of over in San Francisco or in the Valley? No, indeed. Yeah, data mesh is definitely one of the concepts. There are, there are multiple concepts out there. Mm. Data mesh, data fabric. And I think, to be honest, ultimately, they are all trying to solve the same thing. But I do absolutely, as I talk to customers, data mesh is an important concept. And, and you know, ultimately, it goes down to what you and I were talking, right? It's creating a backbone at the back end of a data backbone. And then how do you create a federated model above it such that you can provide business users, technical users, and any users the availability of all these data assets, but not redo it all the time so that you can manage it, effectively cost manage it, effectively risk manage it. And that's what it, I think it's all about. And I think it's definitely a concept for here to stay. Great. So maybe to wrap it up, where, where do you see the biggest opportunity in the next five years, you know, in that space, in the data space? I know I it's a big question. <laughs> <laughs> I think, look, inherently, if you think about the intrinsics, data is going to grow. And every yeah. organization has to make sense of that data. Right. And I think there are many things around the use cases that naturally happen. But I yeah. think the most fundamental, pivotal thing that's happening, and you can see, is all about how do we leverage AI? Right. How do we leverage AI ML for data? One of it is to make sense of these large, complex data sets, because which we as human beings will not be able to go through it. So I think there are two paths to AI-driven data management. One is all around automation, productivity. Second is around intelligence. So to me, that's an area where there's going to be a lot of innovation in data management, right. all around AI-driven, AI-powered. We've invested in our clear AI, and we really see our customers benefiting from it. So to me, I see that area as definitely an innovation area in data management. Yeah, and I fully agree with you that data will be at the heart of it. That's the only thing that you can take with you 
on the journey. And that's really the unique thing you have as a company. So thank you very much, Amit, for, for being with us and for the great conversation that we had. Well, thank and you for I'm hosting. I'm really excited me. about your journey. Pleasure to be here. And once again, thank you for hosting. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Data Masterclass podcast. You can accelerate your own journey to data mastery to join the most exciting data strategy training event this year. Data Masterclass Europe 2023. Reserve your seat at early booking discount at www.datamasterclass.eu. Borek Data Masterclass. Where great data journeys begin.